All right, I'm back. It's the same day. I'm still hyper. <laughs> Chapter four, let's go. And I said stop flaming, okay? Ebony's name is Ebony, not Mary Sue. Not Mary Sue. Okay, Draco is so in love with her that he is acting different. They need each other before they knew each other before you, okay? Oh, God, grammar in here. Draco! I shouted. What the heck do you think you're doing? Draco didn't answer, but he stopped flying the car and walked out of it. I walked out of it too, curiously. What the hecking heck? I said angrily. Ebony? He asked. What? I snapped. Draco leaned in extra close, and I looked into his gothic red eyes. He was wearing collar contacts which revealed so much depressing sorrow and evilness, then suddenly I didn't feel mad anymore. And then, suddenly, just... Mm, I wanna vomit everywhere if this goes... I'm reading the line. Okay, if this goes anywhere else, I'm gonna... <laughs> and then, suddenly, just as I... Draco kissed me passionately. Draco climbed on top of me and started to make out keenly against the tree. Oh, oh my God. The stuff I do for you guys when I get so little, so little from it in the first place. Like the two extra vi like the two videos I put out it didn't even reach like a hundred. Ah. He took off my top and I took off his clothes. I even took off my my bra. I can't read this. No, I, I can't. Oh my God. Family, if family's watching this, I haven't told you guys about my YouTube channel, but if family's ever watching this, I am sorry for what you're about to hear. If you know, and if you know me personally in real life, Oh my god, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry for what I'm about to say. Then he put his thingy into my you-know-what and we did it for the first time. I'm about to vomit. Okay, I had to stop for a minute because I vomited all over my lap. Um, it burns. I cleaned up some of it. I have to go in like a few minutes and I, I like I'm about to go to a class and I have to explain why I smell like vomit. Oh, 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 I screamed. Wait, should I scream this? Ah, I want to save your eardrums. I was beginning to get an orgasm. We started to kiss everywhere and my pale body became all warm. And then, what the heck are you doing you mother heckers? It was dot dot dot, so many dots, Dumbledore, chapter 5, and stop flaming, if you flam, it means you're a prep or a poser, the only reason Dumbledore sore is cause he had a headache, okay, and on top of that he was mad at them for having sex, p.s. I'm not updating until I get five good revolves. Dumbledore and made and Draco Dumbledore made and Draco and I followed him. He kept on shouting at us angrily. You lincorous fools he shouted. I started to cry tears of blood down my pallid face. Draco comforted me. When we went back into the castle, Dumbledore took us to Professor Snape. Four twenty Snape Blazers I I wanna die. And Professor McGonagall, who were both looking very angrily, they were having s <clears throat> they were having sexual intercourse in the Forbidden Forest. He yelled in a furious voice. Why did you do such a thing, you mediocre dunces? Asked Professor McGonagall. I, am I am I butchering that name? You know what? This video is already screwed. I'm going to just keep going. How dare you! Demanded Professor Snape. And then Draco screamed. BECAUSE I LOVE HER! I was a little bit, um, out there. Rest in peace, headphone users. Everyone was quiet. Dumbledore and Professor er, McConaughey still looked mad, but Professor Snape said, Fine, very well. You may go up to your rooms. 
Draco and I went upstairs while the teacher glared at us. Are you okay, Ebony? Draco asked me gently. Yeah, I guess, I lied. I went into the girls' t uh, dorm and brushed my teeth and my hair and changed into a low-cut black floor-length dress with red lace all around it and black high heels when I came out. What is up with, like, all the clothing details? Like, seriously. Like, it's like every other paragraph. It's like, oh, I changed into a red dress. Oh, I changed... It's getting really annoying. Draco was standing in front of the bathroom, and he started to sing. I just want to live by good Charlotte, and I was so flattered, even though he wasn't even supposed to be there. We hugged and kissed, and, af and after that, we said goodnight. He reluctantly ba went back into his room. Alright, I'm gonna do one more chapter of this, and I have to skedaddle, skedoodle. Chapter 6. And shit the preps, okay? P.S. I won't update till you give me good review, oh woes. Yes, that is what it says, almost. The next day, I woke up in my coffin. I put on a black mini skirt that was all ripped around the end, and a matching top with red skulls all over it, and high-heeled boots that were black. I put on two pa two pairs of skull earrings and two crosses in my ears. So wait, her ears are pierced two times. Okay. I spray painted my hair with purple. In the great hall, I ate some count <laughs> count conchula cereal with blood instead of milk, <laughs> and a glass of red blood. And suddenly, someone bumped into me. All the blood spilled all over my top. Oh God! I bastard i shouted angrily i regretted saying it when i looked up because i was looking into a pale white face of a gothic boy with with spike spiky black hair with red streaks in it he was wearing so much eyeliner that i was that i was going down his face and he was wearing black lipstick the wording in this <sighs> he didn't have glasses anymore and now he was wearing red contact lenses just like Draco's and there was no scar on his forehead anymore. We may he had a manly stubble on his chin and he had a sexy English accent. You mean like pyrocynicals? I'm kidding, I'm kidding, hey, hey, hey. He looked exactly like Joel Madden. He was so sexy that my body went all He went all hot when I saw him, kind of I'm gonna vomit again. Kind of like an erection. Only I'm a girl, so I didn't get one, you sicko. Ugh, I'm gonna vomit again. This is... I paid so... Like, I paid for a good pizza. Now it's going to waste. Like, come on. I'm so sorry, he said in a shy voice. That's alright. What's your name? I questioned. My name's Harry Potter. Oh my god. This, this was Harry Potter. Okay. Although most people call me vampire these days, he grumbled. Why? I exclaimed. Because I love the taste of human blood, he giggled. Well, I'm a vampire, I confessed. Really? He whimpered. Yeah! I roared. <laughs> we sat down to talk for a while, then Draco came up behind me and told me he had a surprise for me. So I went away with him. Okay, that's it. That, that's, that's it. I seriously feel sick to my stomach because of this. Um... I wanna- I'm gonna make an- I'm gonna make an edgy 2016 joke. I'm gonna be drinking bleach. <laughs> edgy joke, edgy joke. No. Oh, that was cringy. Um, but yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna post anymore tonight. I'm feeling sick. You know what, screw it. Maybe after my class. But, there is like 44 chapters in this thing. And I'm only at chapter 7. Like, come on. What- what- what's left? Like- Yes. Uh, my dog's being autistic. I am sorry about that. My dog is being annoying. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Um, I guess I'll talk to you guys later and stay on the flip side.